guys, what's going on? It's Joker88. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk to you about something a little bit more serious today. Uh, it involves cars, right? And other things. But one thing that uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about was I used to go with my Lamborghini. I would go to car shows every month. And when my daughter was a little bit younger, we were able to, uh, you know, she would go with me and stuff like that. So she decided to come with me this one time. We're going through, we're passing through LA and running out of gas. You know, with these supercars, you know, they suck gas. They suck gas pretty bad. So what happened was, we ended up at this uh, wrong side of the track neighborhood. And I need my, I need to get gas there, so it'll be quick. So I, I kind of pulled up and got my gas, went inside. And while I was pumping gas, next, you know, some guy walks up to us, right? Walks up to me, she was in the car. And um, this guy takes out a knife and kind of says, you know, give me your money. And from then on, I was like, holy cow, what do I do? You know, you kind of just freeze up because you don't really, you don't encounter these things every day. So what I ended up doing was took out what I got and said, dude, that's all I have. But please just go, I'm not going to say anything, and I did it. But I, I started thinking, I don't want to be a victim anymore. That's, that is not cool, because my kid was in the car, and she didn't really know what was going on, and I never told her, because she was in the car. And, and, and um, I said to myself, I am not going to be a victim. So what I did was, I used to be in law enforcement. About way back when. So I went ahead and got my my CCW, that's your Carry Concealed Weapons Permit. Uh, it's a long process. I mean, the process for me was, I would say a year. Here in California, you call in for an interview and it's usually like almost a year out. I remember that. And, you know, I carried knives. Uh, I started carrying, you know, like little, little knives. It's... It's better than nothing, right? If you're gonna be in a situation, because uh, you never know. You never know. I don't want to be a victim, so that's one. And almost a year has passed by, and I was like, you know what, man? I don't even want to go to my interview anymore because it just it was a long time ago. And, and my wife told me she goes, you should go. I mean, you waited a year for this. You might as well go. So I did. I went. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty easy. They talked about, you know, why would you want to have, uh, what would you want a permit to carry a weapon? And, and I told them my situation and things like that. And they totally cool guys. And again, I, uh, I live in Riverside County. I went through the whole process, uh, a lot of paperwork. But after all that, I get a call and said, hey, we granted you your permit. And you have your permit. It's a two-year permit. And you have to renew it every two years. Mine's actually coming up pretty soon so I hear that uh, you want to do it like three months in advance before it expires so mine's coming up fairly shortly and I'll be giving him a call to renew try to, I carry pretty much as much as I can uh, when, I, when I can and what I ended up buying was I bought this uh, car safe I was like oh, safe made of steel and it opens up it's, it's just a quick key, uh, I mean it's a quick combination and once you have the combo it opens up to this and there's a lock in there so what you do is there's a section right here you can lock it in your inside when you're not you know let's say you're going somewhere like a library you're going I don't know you're going somewhere like a school you can't carry a weapon on campus so that locks firmly right and that stays in your car and you just mount it somewhere where so at least it's safe or some people that i know just carry when they're driving and i usually carry it. i just have a safe so that when i'm when i'm going to a place where i cannot carry a weapon i have somewhere safe to store it so, so what do i carry well i carry mostly glocks when i was in law enforcement i carried a glock 22 as my main weapon and that's uh stuck with me it's very accurate i love those guns so my main, my one of my main carries that I carry is this this Glock 26. It's a nine millimeter. As you can see, I have uh, the clip, a clip draw on it. So I, I don't need a holster. 
I just put it in my waistband. This is a lot better than, <laughs> than going through what happened with, with me uh, a while back. As you can see, this fits perfectly in there. And also on my permit, I have my full-size Glock. I have a Glock 17 that I also carry. I do apologize. These are loaded. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, so that's clear. This I can carry, like, you know, I put in a backpack. I have a backpack that, that stores these. I mean, I swear by these guns. I swear by the Glocks. Uh, it, it protected me when I was... Uh, when I was law enforcement, I, I, I do have some. I do have a Sig Sauer. Some people, you know, love that. But another one that I uh, carry would be uh, an MNP uh, MNP nine millimeter. I know some people are anti guns and things like that, but when it comes down to life and life or death, I, I don't want to be the sucker that's gonna die. Especially in that case, if if I'm out in my car and you know. God forbid someone comes up to you and try to carjack you and your family's with you. And, and I used to drag my daughter to all these things and I said, no, that's not gonna happen anymore. Not gonna happen. So I guess my what I wanna tell you guys is if you guys are able to uh, get a permit to carry a firearm, I, I would do it. I would definitely do it. Because bottom line is, the police is not gonna always gonna be there Right, when you're in a situation that you need to act quickly, especially if your loved ones are with you. And you don't want to get stuck with that, man. You don't want that in your conscience. Because I kind of just play that back in my head, you know. What if this guy takes it to the next level? What am I going to do? Thank goodness that it didn't happen that way. But I definitely don't want to be the person who's not prepared for something like that again. All right, guys. Since since we're talking about guns, man, I love guns. So I apologize for those of you who are anti-guns who watch my channels. Please don't unsubscribe. But, okay. I just got something new. It's pretty cool, actually. I just wanted to share with you guys because it came in the mail today. So, I got the... Uh, it's a Roni. It's made by CAA. Uh, it's a... turns your... It converts your pistol into a carbine. So... Since I have all these Glocks, here's here's the unit itself right here. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? Pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. So you're like, okay, uh, this is where you put your, your handgun in here. So for me, my Glock will go in here. This will accept Glock 22s, um, Glock 19, Glock 17, uh, so that's... Uh, it goes in there and I know they make others for SIGs and other brands of handguns how do I put my my firearm in here so you have these two pins you have these two pins up top right here and there all you do is push that out comes off and don't worry about wanting to pull it out because you're not. It's just a detent on there so you can't pull this pin all the way out. Start over here. Move that grip out of the way. Push that out. And then you want to move the buttstock as far as you can right there. And you pull this back. Okay. That comes off. And this should split into half. Okay, there it is. So now you get your Glock. Uh, the Glock, I'm going to put my Glock 17. They do come with a charging handle that you put in there on your Glock. The Glock's going to go inside here. And before we do that, safety first. Unloaded, no magazine, so safe. There's a 
cool little locking thing so it blocks your finger from pulling the trigger. So when you're ready, yes, basically your safety, and you're good. And that is it. Pretty sweet, right? And then there's a holder here for the magazine. Um, magazine goes in there. Okay, magazine's in. You're good to go. Technically, I can carry the gun and conceal a weapon, but, you know, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do something weird and quick with that. So, double check. And the charge handle, you can pull the charge handle on the... bought this on sale they usually go for like 500 bucks it's crazy right 500 bucks for plastic but uh, the Picatinny here the Picatinny they are metal the Picatinny is metal so it's really uh, really well made and I'll show you guys how it is one day we'll take it out to the gun range and shoot it so anyways this is the um, CA Roni or Glock carbine conversion man so digging it Digging it, looking pretty cool. By the way, I paid $2.99 for this. Uh, it's on sale. So get it while they don't, you know, get them while you still can. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate everything that you guys do. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, guys. More stuff on the Alfa Romeo. I got some uh, little parts in, so I'm gonna do a quick video on that later. On um, some of the small things that you can do to make your Alfa. You're wrong. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Happy shooting. Bye.